Are you tired of excruciatingly long hours entering charges one by one? Then this training on how to use the OneSite Import a File utility is for you. Navigate through this course by clicking the Below, Back, and Next icons. Be sure to click the full screen icon to enlarge each window. The course will conclude with a short quiz that requires a passing score of 70% or higher. Utility bills have arrived, we've calculated the overages, and we're ready to import the charges. Let's start off and take a look at our file. The files must be set up with the first name and last name in separate columns, a unit in the separate columns followed by the amount. These can be in any order, but they must be saved as a CSV file. After your file is calculated and you're ready to import the transactions, begin by clicking the administration link followed by the other link and then import a file towards the top. This is right restricted, so if you don't have access, consult with your general manager. The next step will be to upload the file to the utility. Begin that process by clicking the browse button. Search for your CSV file, click it and hit open. We want to upload the file. We'll know that this was successfully accomplished when on the left hand side of the screen, after we click upload, the text will change from red to green, meaning that the file was successfully uploaded. Our next step is to select the code where we want all of these transactions to book. In this case, it's our utility code. If your property uses subjournals, you'll select the proper subjournal. If your property does not use subjournals, you will not see that option. Our next step is to identify what column means what data. To do that, we're going to click the Add button. Name your import. Next step is to identify the columns to the proper one site data. We're going to pick last name, first name, unit, followed by the amount field. There are other data items that you can utilize. For example, the transaction description is a really good one. If the transaction description is not identified in a column, then just the generic code description will be assumed in the import. When all columns that are found in the file have been identified, click the Save button. Next, we're going to click Build List. What this system will do is it will look at every single row and find a perfect and exact match to a data item in one site. If it cannot find an exact match, the entire file will fail. You will receive an exceptions report and then you will have to identify why the exceptions report occurred. Some reasons you would receive an exception report is a resident's name doesn't match. For example, if I had spelled uh, Julie Robert without an S, the entire file would have failed and I would have had to correct the file. For that reason, we strongly suggest that your source file is pulled from one site. If it came one from one site, it'll match to one site. If your file successfully built a list, as you see here, your next steps are to either the edit the transaction if you would like to change the amount for any reason or change the description. Cancel if you do not want to. Another option available is you can delete a transaction, copy the transaction, or view the resident's ledger. In the list, we will see units, names, their current resident balance, and also the amount to be imported. Unfortunately, charged transactions can be imported in bulk, but there's no way to reverse them in bulk. So make sure that you're satisfied with this list, and once you are, click Post. The system will post these to the resident ledgers. And then on the resident ledgers, we will see what that looks like. Navigate to the resident ledger. And here is our imported transaction. You can always identify these transactions by clicking the view link and it will say the source is an imported from file delimited. There are many ways to use the import a file feature and we truly hope that this feature saves you hours of work. For any additional details, feel free to reach out to the management systems department or refer to the policy, one site instructions, import a file.